Hey guys, B2 Tech here, and today I'm going to be making a video, so basically it's not really a tech video, but I mean you could consider it a tech video, but I'm going to be showing you how, so App Apple iTunes doesn't have some songs that I really wish it did, such as the album by Chance called Acid Rap, um, it, it doesn't have all the stuff I'd like it to, but what you can do is you can download music from other places and you can download it onto your iTunes. Um, and you can get iTunes for, for Windows, I'll leave that down below. And this works for any type of iTunes on a Mac or on a Windows. And then I can show you how from there, it then connects to your phone. And you can download that music to your phone. Although, I mean, for that all you do is sync your, sync your computer and your phone. But we'll get to that later. So first, to download music that you don't have, that iTunes doesn't have on a Mac or a Windows, it'll work the same way. Uh, what you need to do is first find your downloadable content. So, as an example, I'm going to use Astro App, even though I just got it. Um, I'm going to use it as an example. I'll leave it down below just in case any of you guys want it. Um, everything I use will be linked down below. So, this is Astro App, and this is from MixtapeMonkey.com. There are other websites, plenty of other websites, to download music from and download albums from and stuff like that. But what you're going to do is so where it says this, make sure it has everything you want, don't just download stuff on your computer because it could take up space and stuff like that, but so, get the, click the download, it will, it will download, excuse me, it will download, and it'll go here, and then you click and drag this onto your desktop. So now I can get out of this, because I already have it downloaded, I'm not going to download it again, just to waste space on my computer. So what you can do is now, you can right click this and extract it. What I'd like to do is download 7-Zip, um, it's a great extraction tool. I will leave a link for that down below, like, along with everything else. And so, click, go to this, 7-Zip, extract files, and just do all the presets. Okay, okay, okay. If there even is more than just this one. Uh, and then what you're gonna get is you're gonna get this, this is the extracted file. It's fine if there's a file inside a file, it really does not matter. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to, make sure this is on your desktop, it makes everything a whole lot easier. Then you're going to open up iTunes, and what you're going to do is you're going to click File up here in the top left corner. And then you're going to click Add Folder to Library. You're going to click that, and then you're going to your desktop. Uh, if, if that's where it is. If it's not in your desktop, then go to wherever that is. But I highly recommend that it's on your desktop. It's, it like really makes it a whole lot easier. And then you're going to open up that file. So this is Chance underscore the rapper dash acid underscore rap, whatever. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this, and then if it's a folder inside a folder like mine is, you just open that one, uh, the final folder, and then as you can see there's nothing here that does not matter. Then what you click is select folder. Now obviously I'm not gonna do that, I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna waste space. It's very valuable for me. I, I can't stress that enough. So once that is downloaded, uh, it will have a little loading bar, maybe for you, if not, it'll just be quick, instant, and it will, boom, as you can see, I have it. Uh, I have all the songs downloaded here, um, every single one, including the one I really wanted, Coco Butter Kisses. It's muy bien, very good. It's just, uh, he's, he's pretty good, and he's pretty good. Um, and so... Look at that beautiful face. Um, now, to go to the part where I show you how to do that on everything on your phone and transfer it to your phone. Alright guys, so I made the webcam very big just so that you could see my phone well. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto my phone. And actually you don't even need to go onto your phone for this. I just realized, wow. There's no, even, there's no reason for me to have webcam. Actually, for proof, that is why. Alright, so webcam is for proof. So then what you do, so from this this place, is you, you as you can see over here, how it's just, like, this is my phone, my, my phone's called Sick Phone. So you click on that to just go into your like settings or whatever, and then you click Sync. Right down here it says Sync. I want to click that. So mine's already synced, so it, mine should be pretty quick. Um, and once your phone is sunken, sunk, sank, um, you can see that it, it, all of this is, it's downloaded. Oh, my phone's not turning.
but there. So it's downloaded on my phone, as you can see right here. Even better than I was the last time, baby. See? It's pretty good. Um, I think this is actually really cool that Apple allows you to do that. For how closed Apple is, not wanting anyone else to use their software, I think this is actually... I mean, they've gotten better over the years how they allow iTunes to go on Windows and stuff like that, but they used to be very closed. I really like how they've like broadened up and allowed other people to use their stuff and how to incorporate more open source. Um, so, I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!